Hi everyone, it's Danny from Orchid Nature. So I'm back, I've been away for a while and I came back to my orchids and I have a few surprises that I didn't know of, they developed since I was gone. And uh, yeah, let's start off by showing you, it's not a tour per se, uh, but I'll show you a few developments with my orchids and uh, yeah, then we'll start to answer questions and comments. I already started answering some of your comments, but I have hundreds. So uh, yeah, I'll try today and tomorrow to answer to all your comments that um, you posted on my videos and uh, I was gone and I was unable to answer, but I will these days. Okay, so this is the Blue Vanda. This is a Vanda Pachara Delight. Uh, you can confuse this one with the Princess Mikasa, but it has a major difference. The flower is, I believe, bigger on the Vanda Pachara and also it's not super round like a uh, Mikasa. It's a bit curly, if I can call it like that. Hopefully you can see. Uh, it doesn't have the very round shape of that particular orchid, but I do like it. I have nine flowers in total on my orchid. She's super, super lovely. It's an overcast day today, so I hope the light is okay. Um, so yeah, this Vanda is growing like crazy. She will eventually outgrow these uh, hangy thingies that I use. So I'll have to change them somehow. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's my blue Vanda, the only Vanda that I have in bloom right now. Okay, let's move on. Here's my Red Tide Miltoniopsis. She has, I knew about this spike, I saw it, but it's in bloom and it smells wonderful now. And apparently it has another flower spike here, but because I was not here, um, it kind of curled inside the leaves, so I tried to save it. I'm sure it will develop, but it's just a bit curly at the moment. Um, so yeah, other than that, on this area, I have to do some repots. I have the breast of La Cuculata, which has a beautiful um, bud here. It could have produced two, but I'll do with one. So yeah, I cannot wait to smell this one. It has a beautiful smell. And up there, I have the pink Phalaenopsis, which is producing another spike for some reason. I do have quite a few Phalaenopsis that did produce another spike for some reason. So, alrighty, and the other Brassavola is doing very well, putting out some big pseudobulbs compared to the older ones, so I really hope it will bloom pretty soon. The Sherry Baby three colors is producing a flower spike. I didn't check here, I didn't have time, but I will check. Okay, um, Miltoniopsis orchids are um, fading, the flowers are fading, so I will do some repotting with, with them these days. Okay, here is a beautiful Kalia orchid I got from Schwerter. And I got her as a purple cascade, but it's just, it is not, definitely not. I'm happy with it, it smells wonderful. I cannot even describe it, sort of floral, sort of sweet. Um, not very powerful, but not very faint either. I just absolutely love this Kalia orchid. I didn't expect it, so I'll get in touch with Schwerter and see if I can get a proper label on this one. Most probably it was mislabeled because it um, doesn't really look like a purple cascade and I'm not aware of any other purple cascades that are yellow. Other than that, it has a bit of the shape of the purple cascade, but it's just super yellow and super, super fragrant and I don't know her name. So yeah, I'll check to see if I can, I, if I can get a proper label on this one. So the Miltonia Sunset is producing another spike on this growth here. I wanted to repot it, but I'll just wait for this flower spike to bloom because I didn't really enjoy the last flowers. I was away. Okay, so uh, the Phalaenopsis Leo's Cute Angel. Okay, so it's blooming once again. It had a flower spike that was about to uh, fade anyway. So uh, yeah, it, it has produced another flower spike. This one is looking good, no spots on it, so that's good. I have a big issue with those spots on the Phalaenopsis orchids. Anyway, just look at these blooms. I absolutely love tiny blooms. I don't necessarily go mental for the big blooms on Phalaenopsis, but the tiny blooms, I really just love them. I find them to be so classy. Anyway, we have another orchid here. You don't know this one. It's a Tahitian dancer putting out a thin little flower spike here. Hopefully it's gonna bloom. The Brasidium Shooting Star with the second spike, it's in bloom right now. The first spike is gone there, 
but she's looking pretty great smelling wonderful i do love the smell of this one and i will do a video about how to care for brassia orchids and i'll show you two types of brassias they're all this color this yellow and brown but they have some variations which i like they also have variations in the fragrance so i'll put them together so you see what the difference is huge blooms they really look like shooting stars Okay, so there we have the white barley schwartz. It's producing two flower spikes, although only one visible. But it's such a lovely plant, I cannot wait for it to bloom. Alrighty, let's get down. This is the biggest surprise of all. This Calia orchid didn't do anything last winter. I got it in the autumn. I thought it was not gonna make it. And when I left, actually, it, was, it had one leaf developing. And uh, yeah, when I came back, look at this, we have two buds here. Now, I love this orchid. I only saw it properly and smelled it properly for one day and then the bloom died and it didn't go so well, but now it's doing much better. And uh, as far as I remember, she is super nice and fragrant, so I cannot wait to see the blooms once again. So talk about fast recovery and fast growth. I was not expecting to see this. When I came back, also we have some more sheets on the other callias. I will do a thing with the callias. I will do that sort of a support for orchids that Roy has done. He has a DIY video on it and I'll link you into the description because I intend to do it. I find it to be a great idea. So I'll try to do this for some of my orchids, the brassias and the callia orchids. Okay, here we have the, um, this one actually bloomed while I was gone. And it's kind of fading away already. It's the Hawaiian Splash Leia. She's doing great. Um, the blooms are not as pretty as they used to be though. Um, but yeah, proper care was not uh, given to them <laughs> the past few weeks. But yeah, I'll get to them. Anyway, I wanted to show you something really nice. One video will be about cutting this Paphiopedilum orchid. If you remember, it's the Climber orchid. Um, it has produced roots right here in the moss and also a little tiny baby here. So I think it's time to separate it. Anyway, uh, we'll see when I make that video. Also growing new leaves. I don't know what kind of Paphiopedilum this is. So it will be a surprise. This is a uh, Kelly orchid that my friend gave me. She was in bad, bad, bad shape. Didn't have any roots. She gave it to keep and to save. And we have some roots and some new growth here. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to be red, a red calia, the big flowered one. Um, I think I have some more sheaths there. I think I spotted them. Anyway, let's move on. And the other brassy orchid that I have, one spike. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it. It went away while I was gone. And uh, this is a new flower spike. This actually smells a lot more peppery than the other one and has a slightly different color. But I'll do the video where I put them side by side so you can see the difference. Other than that, Callie is doing well. She has a sheath there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on my orchids. I love this growth here. But hopefully I will do that thingy where I try to keep the orchids straight. Alrighty, um, kind of fast video about what's been going on in my balcony. It was a surprise for me as well when I returned. So we'll get to making more videos and answering your comments pretty soon. Uh, when I settle in properly, and uh, yeah, thank you for joining. If you want to see other videos, don't forget to subscribe. I will uh, post more often. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll go visit OrchidNature.com because I didn't visit it for a while and answer there as well. So anyway, thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm running out of battery. <laughs> Bye.